Hey guys, good morning. We are up and taking advantage of a little bit of a lower temperature outside this morning. A not a bit low. It's not much. It's very humid out today, but I wanted to get the kids outside first thing this morning before it got too hot and just let them get a little bit of fresh air before we start our school day. We have um, already had bagels and strawberries. What? I don't know. Go ahead and slide down. And um, I got up this morning and took a shower. So um, <clears throat> excuse my hair because I didn't fix it. What? Yay! Good job. Yeah. You ready? Good job. That's the fastest boy around. Aren't you? <laughs> and Jacob's up on the deck and he's just doing a little bit of his schoolwork. <laughs> oh, I'm looking so forward to fall. I need some cooler temperatures so we can spend more time outside. During the summer, we don't get to be outside much at all because it's just so humid, so hot. It's been in the hunt Whoa. like right at a hundred all summer, Whoa. huh? It's been hot every single day. I know it's been like a hundred degrees every day. <laughs> it's definitely already close, probably close to upper 80s, 90s. Oh, so this little sweater top is probably not the best choice for today. I keep hoping that I'm going to come out and it's going to be a nice, cool, crisp morning. Huh? We can't jump on the trampoline, baby. Mommy's got to fix the hole. There's a big hole in it. Mommy has to fix the hole. Our trampoline has, I told you yesterday, has a really big hole, so... Until I can, um, I, we'll probably have to order a whole new bottom part, um, to replace it. The kids can't jump, so they don't really like that very much. Mason's running around. He's getting hot and sweaty. You want to slide? Whoa. Did you fall down? been kind of a tough morning with Maddie so far. I don't know if she's getting sick or what, but she's been very temperamental, very whiny, needing to be held. You got basketball? <laughs> kind of hoping that the outside maybe turns that around a little bit. That was another reason why I decided to come out. All right, guys, we're taking a lunch break today. Today has been a very weird day. Everybody was in pretty cranky mood this morning. Mason had a little meltdown, didn't want to do school. So. Don't want to enjoy it. Oh, oh, just gotta do math. Oh. Everybody's in a bad mood except for Jacob. <laughs> Jacob's almost completely through with his day. He's been up really getting it done today because he has somewhere that he's going today at four o'clock. So he's going swimming. And so he had to have his school completely done before he went. Mom. So he's been Mom. really hammering it today. Mom. What? Uh-huh. So this is our new setup, guys. Let me just give you a quick quick peek. Um, this looked a whole lot different last time you guys saw it. So I'm not going to give like a complete tour, but I just wanted to give you guys a peek. Um, I'll probably give you a complete tour in a little bit, but... Um, we moved that bookshelf down, got it kind of organized. We have that shelf right there. Um, and then the work box is there in the corner. So that's what it looks like. And then we still have this um, little organizer right here. And then the TV there. Um, and then I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with these shelves. I may or may not leave those there. I'm not sure yet. 
but I love it because everything is in one place and you I get to uh, utilize more of the you know the height um, so it looks more uniform I just feel like it you know is way more useful to me down here than it was upstairs so um, I've been trying to get the kitchen back in order because it was pretty messy from that project yesterday I woke up kind of with a headache this morning and um, I don't know just everybody seems to be kind of tired so anyway Mason went with dad to work um, since he was having a bad morning and we will do our schooling this evening when he is a little um, happier so we'll really focus on his reading and writing and again that's what I love about homeschooling is you know if it's not going smoothly in the morning we can regroup and get schooling in in the afternoon or evening hours so excuse me that's what we're gonna do with him Jacob and I have been doing his Latin and um, he's getting ready to start on his math mm -hmm. I don't think you need it though because you have a whole bunch of paper that I just gave you yeah and um so uh, yeah Jacob and I've been working together and like I said he's almost finished um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some housework while Mason's gone and then um, plan something for dinner so that's what the day's looking like I didn't get any editing done yesterday so I have to do that as well um, last night was kind of after we had ice cream, we had to run into the store to get some paper towels and some diapers and wipes. Which did not go well. <laughs> and it did not go well at all. Maddie was really tired. It was really my fault because I, I should have known better because it was a little too late for us to have done something like that. It was like nine o'clock. And um, when we ran in just to get those few things and it was like a complete meltdown. So by the time we got home, I had to put the little ones straight to bed and Maddie wasn't resting well, so I ended up laying down with her, and I just did not get back up. And typically, I do my work in the evening. So, hey, thank you for my huggy. Um, usually, I do my, you know, my YouTube work in the evenings, and so I just stayed in bed with her, and um, it was, you know, a necessity. So, that's why I got no editing done yesterday. So, I'm going to try and catch up on that. Do some laundry and some picking up and Jacob's going to be getting some chores done before I have to take him over um, for his um, event he's going to today. So that's where we're at guys. It's kind of a, we're trying to just get it together today. It's been kind of a rough start to our day, but hopefully we can regroup and get it going smoother. Um, you know, sometimes we have days like that. Sometimes days just start off kind of rough. But hopefully everybody can um, snap out of it a little bit. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so today's project, I don't know if I'll get it done today, but I'd like to start on it, is this closet back here. Now this closet is in complete shambles. It has random stuff in it from like winter coats to gift bags to Christmas stuff and holiday things and boots and shoes and just just it's a mess so I'm gonna show it to you because I have to give you the before and I'm gonna continue to do the purge because I do want to have our yard sale maybe Saturday I don't know yet um, and this closet could be extremely extremely purged because almost all of this i need to get rid of so here it is all right it has random junk piled in here guys behind the door oh it's a mess so i'm gonna try to get rid of it all right guys here's the finished product so, you can actually see the floor. Mom. What, baby? What? Maddie's vacuuming in the living room. Good job. I moved a bookshelf, that bookshelf that I had that was empty in here, and put our albums and some blankets, and cleaned out behind the door. Put some boots up there. So, nice and cleaned out in here, thank goodness. 
I was able to get another big stack of stuff to add to our yard sale stash, which is in here in the formal living room, and it is packed with stuff. And there's more in the garage. So let me give you a little peek at our yard sale stash. And there she is. It's growing and growing. All of this stuff in here is going to be sold at a garage sale. Hopefully pretty soon. Alright guys, we are on our way take Jacob over to he's going with Gavin um, they're going over to Gavin's uncles and they're gonna have a little swim party over there so that's what he's getting ready to go do and then I will probably run by the grocery store and pick up some meat for dinner and then just head back home um, just been collecting more stuff for the yard sale today and trying to get um, the house you know kind of picked up and organized it feels really good to be getting rid of stuff but I'm dreading having a yard sale yard sales are so much work and then if you you know it could be a disappointment if you don't have a lot of traffic um, and then you don't know what to do with the rest of your stuff you know because you it's either take it to Goodwill or you okay. know have another yard sale and then that's a lot of work in and of itself again so it's kind of a bummer. I hate, I really don't enjoy having yard sales, but I like to get rid of stuff, but I also need to at least recoup some of the cost um, and try to get some kind of money from it. So um, hopefully, um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it on Saturday. That just all feels like too much work. I have to work on Sunday, so I, I wouldn't have a weekend at all. So I'm kind of thinking, I may wait till next weekend. Although, I really don't want to sit with that stuff in my house for another week. But, um, it's looking like it may be next weekend. Because I don't think I'll have enough time to get everything ready. And, um, signs made and put out. And all of that good stuff. So, so I just dropped Jacob off. And got to see Gavin. And gave him lots of hugs and kisses. And... Miss Maddie Bear is sound asleep in her car seat right now. So she's getting a little nap in, which is good. And hopefully she gets enough of a nap in. Um, I should probably just kind of drive around for a while so that she can get some type of a nap in. She usually is much, much better behavior-wise in the evening if she has um, a decent nap. But she's had like a hoarse sounding voice today. And so I'm wondering if maybe she's not feeling kind of bad, like sore throat or something. I don't know. But she's had like a hoarse sounding voice. And she's been um, a little more temperamental than usual. And I have had a headache all day. I can't get rid of it. I have tried everything from ibuprofen to um, peppermint essential oil to um, massage. And it's just not going away so I don't know what I'm gonna do probably gonna be one of those days where I just keep a headache I should probably have laid down earlier instead of doing all of my organi organizing and purging and all that good stuff but you know try to make do I try to make use of like every ounce of my day so um, anyway I have a dilemma now I guess I can't run into the grocery store to get meat since Maddie's asleep. But I will probably send Jimmy in to um, pick something up on his way home. That will probably be what I do. So we just got through with dinner and we're just running into the Goodwill. It's our place to go to walk around and look around. So that's what we're doing. Maddie, what are you doing? You're gonna fall down. What are you doing, little man? I wanna, I wanna go to the pool. Mason wants to go to the pool. So we may find ourselves there later, Mom. we'll see. I go pool. You go oh, later? So I just found a really cool tea set and it is not been opened. Mason. 
Staying with my buggy. Sorry, hang on a minute. Maddie just ran away. Anyway, I found this really cool tea set and it hasn't been opened. It's $1.99 and it's a chai tea set. And I'm gonna show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. Yeah, leave, it, leave the buggy right here. And there it is. So it's got these different teas with this loose, I mean uh, tins with this loose tea in it and it's sealed. So I'm so excited. And then it tells what it is up top. Oh, it's $1.99. And then there is this uh, Little Achiever, Achievers Math Puzzle Cards, which I thought was cute. So we came to the park to have a little bit of playtime this evening. Mm, it feels oh, nice. Well, it's not me. quite so hot. Today was so humid and no, hot. Come over here. Mom. Come over here. Do you want to come slide? Mom, remember last time when we came here it was so hot and everybody just came? Yeah. No, now it's warm. I know. It feels it's nice. You this by herself? Not that. She can do pretty much everything by herself. Go down the slide. Mason, you want to slide? Okay. Come on. I'm coming. Mate, Maddie, come down the side. Go to Mason. Go look at Mason. Come on, go to Mason. Take the long way around then. <laughs> What'd you do? Go ahead. Be careful. Go ahead. Slow down. This one was right side, and I was like, <laughs> oh. Are you in the tunnel? Yeah. Are you in the tunnel? <gasps> Stand up. I want to on a shoe. <laughs> okay. You almost fall. Almost fall down. Stand up. I'm fine. Go down the slide. Okay, go down the slide. Come down the slide. Oh! Oh! That knocked the breath out of you. That knocked the breath out of you. Let me see. Come on. Man, that was a that was a that was a high one. Wow, I think I heard the breath come out of him. That knocked the breath out of you? <laughs> Look, Mom. Look at little Miss Cliff hanging Oh, my gosh. Oh, really? I can see you guys. Gosh. We don't need any broken bones. All right, let go. <laughs> No broken bones. Sit right here, okay? Sit down now. That's it. Y'all like the water? Hello. You hear that? What is that? Can we throw this one in the water? No. 